Good day YouTube, this is just a bit of a quick video to show you guys a bit of a RAM and CPU comparison between Linux Mint 20 on the left and Windows 7 long standing release on the right. Now at the time of recording this, Windows 7 is no longer really supported except for businesses so uh, depends on your release there. But uh, let's get into this anyway, so starting off Let's have a look at the RAM. So this is where it gets pretty interesting. Now I've only just booted up both machines and on the right we can see Windows booted up about three minutes ago and it started off with the RAM pretty cool, even dropped a little bit and then just went right, right up. Oh, we have updates, so very, very common to Windows. In fact, that's probably my point there. But uh, let's have a look. So about 750 megabytes of RAM on the left for Linux Mint 20. Fantastic, not bad, not perfect, but what can you do? And then on the right hand side, we have running at about a gigabyte of RAM straight off the bat for Windows 7. Now you've got to remember, this one was released in 2006, approximately, Windows 7, whereas Linux Mint 20 was just released the other day. So although this one can't play games, this one really just really goes to town. And even at the RAM, uh, the CPU, should I say, 100%, it's just it's just a peaking, constantly peaking. There's nothing really that. Let's actually see if we can close some things. Uh, Windows updates shouldn't even be updating because it's out of support. But uh, a bit of a funny one there. And then we can see on the left hand side, as expected. Uh, pretty much one, two, three percent uh, CPU isn't being utilized that much alongside the RAM. So always good to see there. But just a bit of a simple quick video. All of my other Windows related comparison videos before always do the same thing. I'm looking for a chance just to give Windows 7 a chance. Just to see that it will drop to maybe six, eight hundred mega, uh, megabytes of RAM and zero percent, one percent CPU usage. But uh, I haven't seen it yet, and that's really unfortunate. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, thanks again for watching. Cheers.